Two men from the Congo, who are grandfathers now, are proving you're never too old to learn something. They went back to the first grade to do that. Elena Cugino is in the newsroom now with Francois and Jerome's journey at Glenwood Elementary. Good morning. Yeah, good morning, Teresa. In Kent County, people who are 55 and up are able to apply for the Senior Neighbors Foster Grandparents Program. But never in the history of the program has there ever been a refugee foster grandparent, let alone two until now. The kids kind of fight over who gets to work with him. You don't always get the chance to go back to school. Just having them come in every day, everybody lights up the kids, the staff. The grandpas are both refugees from the Congo. Francois decided to become a foster grandpa to get exercise. The kind of gym I'm doing here, it is good for my health. And the kids helped him remember and honor the home that he was forced to leave. All my assets, I left it there. Well, I was obliged to flee. Unfortunately, during those time of war, I lost my child who was five years old. Sometimes I think, oh, if he, he could have come with me, he could be even a student at this school. Francois and Jerome both get to share their language and culture with the students, some who speak the same language as them. The kids want to see people that represent them, so I think that's the best part for our students and for our, our school culture. While the kids are learning, the grandpas also get to practice their English. Yeah, I'm so happy to sit with the kids and to be taught by a teacher. With the past school year over, both grandpas say their favorite memory was graduation, both representing the Congo with other students. I'm so uh, excited that uh, our country was represented and uh, people could applaud. The grandpas say that they are planning on being foster grandpas again this upcoming school year, and they are ready to get back in the classroom. Teresa.